guys, Caitlin Moose here, back with a video, ha <laughs> ha! But this is one of those videos that I said that I wanted to make. It's all about the SAG Awards, which are happening tonight, Sunday the 21st. Um, the red carpet's actually on right now, so I'm like, ah, I gotta hurry up and do this video so I can get out and see it. But as many of you know, I am an actress. The union for actors is called SAG-AFTRA. So there are these SAG Awards where actors vote on other actors and because of that I'm very excited that I get to participate in the voting and we get sent screeners and um, either like this or uh, digital download streaming service anything like that so that we can properly watch all the performances all the people who have been nominated and vote um, so there were just so many great films to watch but actually I hadn't heard of most of them or like I didn't have a lot to expect going in. The only film that I really want, there were two films that I really, really wanted to see. And that was I, Tanya and The Disaster Artist. Um, and <laughs> neither disappointed. Like this, I, Tanya is so funny. It would highly recommend. And Allison Janney right here, <laughs> I'm pretty sure is going to win Best Supporting Actress. Um, she was phenomenal. And, um, I mean, Margot Robbie was amazing as well, but just Allison Janney, truly incredible. And I don't know if you saw the Golden Globes here. She's got her little bird on her shoulder at the Golden Globes. She went out and um, she was a presenter for one of the awards and had, no, I think it, whatever. And so she had like a little bird on her dress right there. And she's like, oh, shut up. <laughs> but she's truly incredible. And the movie is just phenomenal. Um, and very funny. The crazy thing about this movie, this pretty much the only reason I'd heard that it was coming out is because I came across sides for it. Um, so I knew that it had that kind of style of breaking the fourth wall and being like, this isn't how it happened. Rah, rah, and like continuing the action kind of thing. And I just thought that was really interesting and that's how the movie was. And I was like, oh, that's so cool. I saw that before it was filmed. <laughs> but... That was fun. Um, the Disaster Artist we had on streaming, and that's hilarious. Um, would highly recommend that movie. And, you know, obviously it's based off The Room and Tommy Wiseau and that story behind making that film. So it was very interesting, but also really funny. Also, some parts are just super heartfelt. And I'm just going to keep going because I'm not trying to talk about every single movie. Um, but Get Out very surprised by how much I loved this movie. Um, I think it's up for outstanding performance by a cast in a motion picture, um, which some have said that that means it could be a contender for best picture for the Oscars. So I think that would be really cool. It's, it's a fantastic film um, and wasn't entirely what I was expecting from kind of synopsis that I'd seen and all kinds of stuff like that. I'm not making any sense. I'm trying to get through this, but just that was great. Um, let's see, The Darkest Hour, Gary Ullman probably winning for Best Actor because he portrays Winston Churchill. Very amazing, but I loved Call Me By Your Name. Um, I had no idea what this was even about when I put it in to watch. Um, but Timothy Chalamet is amazing and the film is just so beautiful it's a coming-of-age film um set in this little town in Italy and the film is just beautiful I don't usually like describe films that way but it was um yeah just really like simplified in I guess you could say like the plot and all the uh, things happening but it was it felt really true and brave and um, there's something about uh, this actor's performance that just like made you go wow and um, I never heard of him before he's also in Lady Bird um, so congrats to him for really breaking out this year and having amazing like amazing in both roles um, well-deserved for all his nominations, but uh, what else? The Shape of Water. Um, Guillermo, 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 
Guillermo del Toro <laughs> um, did win the Golden Globe for Best Director. Um, and I'm not sure, uh, this had a best, yeah, best lead actress and best supporting actor, but it's a very, it's a fantasy film, very, very it's just really strange, um, but also very incredibly beautiful in the sense of visual effects. Um, three billboards outside Ebbing, Missouri. Dark humor and Frances McDormand. Oh my goodness. Amazing performance from her. Um, I heard a lot of people say that it reminds them of Fargo. I got the same kind of vibes, but just um, surprisingly funny, but dark and moving as well. So um, yeah, just really enjoyed that. The Big Sick. Um, I was crying by the end, <laughs> like in the credits. Um, had no idea about this film going in either, but uh, an amazing true story. So um, Mudbound, also very good. And I hate to just like have talked about some over others, but yeah, my favorite performances were definitely Frances McDormand, Allison Janney, um, and Timothy Chalamet. And I have no clue who's actually going to win. Those are just my personal preferences. And um, yeah, anything else I want to say? I don't know. I'm going to go watch the SAG Awards now. <laughs> if you guys saw any of these videos or any of these performances, what did you think of them? I would love to hear. And maybe we can talk some more like Oscar buzz and things later as they come. But now. So thanks for watching this one and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.